I'm Dr. Breen from the Breen Center of Optimal Health. Today, I'll explain what the medical literature says about men who are taking estrogen blockers when on testosterone replacement therapy. In my practice, I often see men who come in on testosterone have also been prescribed anastrozole or Arimidex to block the conversion of testosterone to estradiol. They have been mistakenly told they need to keep estradiol levels in a normal range because high estradiol levels are potentially dangerous to their heart. The first thing I want you to know is that this is a myth that continues to be propagated by doctors who are not current with the medical literature. It turns out that much of the benefit that men receive by taking testosterone is the result of conversion to estrogen. Estrogen has profound effects on the brain, the heart, and bones, and rising levels are protective. When you block the conversion of testosterone to estradiol, you actually block the beneficial effects of taking testosterone in the first place. So by taking the Arimidex, you're actually damaging your body. I have seen multiple men come into my office with estradiol levels of 10 on one milligram of Arimidex weekly who have significant amounts of bone loss as a result of estradiol levels that are low. Many of them can't understand why their libidos or erections haven't improved, not realizing that estradiol is likely 50% responsible for man's sex drive. So why did your doctor start you on it in the first place? And why is there so much confusion? There's a saying that what someone learns first implants in their brain. And for many years, doctors were being taught that estradiol is bad and can increase prostate cancer risk in addition to increasing risks of heart attacks or strokes. Some of the major medical academies to include the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine still to this day teach doctors new to the field that high estradiol is harmful. They cite a study that looked at baseline levels of estradiol, which showed that estradiol levels that were too low or too high were associated with an increased risk of heart disease. As a result, they taught that you want to keep levels right in the mid-range. However, what they failed to recognize is that having high baseline levels of estradiol is not the same as raising estradiol levels when you prescribe testosterone. When you give testosterone and raise estradiol, you get a reduction in the risk of heart attack and stroke. It turns out that men who are obese have higher levels of estrogen because fat cells tend to convert testosterone to estradiol at a much higher rate. And men who are obese are much more prone to having heart attacks. So they incorrectly assumed that it was the estradiol increasing risk when it, in fact it was obesity, hypertension, and insulin resistance which was causing the increased risk. Estradiol was simply an innocent bystander. This distinction is very important and completely overlooked by much of the medical community. And that is the reason men are being harmed on Arimidex or Anastrozole daily in the United States. Now, I am not your doctor and can't tell you what to do but I never prescribe estrogen blockers to my patients. Furthermore, I want to see their estradiol levels rising when prescribing testosterone because of the health benefits. Dr. Neil Rougier did an amazing podcast with Jay Campbell where he reviews the medical evidence to support not prescribing estrogen blockers to men. I would encourage each of you to watch this video. I've posted the link in the description section of this video. Then you should share that YouTube podcast with your doctor and ask him or her to show you the medical literature that says you should be on an estrogen blocker. I think what you will find is that they can't produce any studies and unfortunately have just been doing what they were first taught. I hope you enjoyed this video and it provided you some value. If you would like me to help you optimize your hormones, feel free to contact my office at 877 721-0047 and find me on the web at greencenter.com or visit our various social media accounts which are in the description of this video. As always, please feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel for the latest information on hormone replacement and functional medicine. For more details and information, please contact us at 877-721-0047 or visit the FAQ section of our website at www.greencenter.com.